Hello fellow cinephiles, I'm Josh Bell, your cinematic tour guide through the wild realms of film, and welcome to another thrilling mini installment of Real Real Talk. Today we're plunging into the misstrouded depths of the Amazon with the 1997 creature feature, Anaconda. This film, a pulsating blend of adventure, horror, and suspense, promised a journey into the heart of the jungle like never before. And as a shout out, this is... A request on Facebook from a friend, Rich Edwards. So let's take a look as our story begins with a documentary film crew led by the luminous Jennifer Lopez and the effortlessly cool Ice Cube embarking on an odyssey to capture the elusive Shirishama tribe. Amidst the verdant expanse of the Amazon rainforest, they chance upon the enigmatic Paraguayan snake hunter Sorone, portrayed by John Voigt. As the crew navigates the treacherous river, they soon discover they're not alone. A colossal and cunning anaconda becomes the predator and they the prey, turning their expedition into a harrowing battle for survival. Now, why don't we unravel the layers of this journey, starting with the intricate twists of anaconda's plot. Let's talk about why this premise, while promising, falls a bit flat. Now, the cast of Anaconda brings a mix of talent to the table. Jennifer Lopez and Ice Cube are reliable anchors, delivering solid performances amidst the chaos. But there's one standout that's hard to ignore. John Voight as Cerrone. His portrayal is, let's just call it unique. Voight's over-the-top accent, theatrical expressions make it a performance that's simultaneously amusing and cringeworthy. It's clear he's having a blast, but it doesn't exactly blend seamlessly into the film's tones. And as far as the aesthetics and effects, the aesthetics of Anaconda are pretty good. The film does capture the breathtaking beauty of the Amazonian landscape. The cinematography paints a lush and vibrant picture, immersing us in the untamed majesty of the jungle, the foliage, the river, the mist. It's a visual feast that transports us to the heart of the rainforest. However, that enchantment begins to waver when we encounter the film's primary antagonist, the titular Anaconda. Designed to be terror-inducing, the CGI serpent falls way short. The technology of the late 90s, while still groundbreaking for its time, struggles to maintain the illusion of a formidable creature. At moments, the stakes movements and interactions with the environment verge on the comical, diluting the intended tension. This is a stark reminder of the challenges filmmakers faced in an era when CGI was still finding its footing. Despite its shortcomings, Anaconda presents us with a glimpse into the evolution of special effects in cinema. The ambitious attempt to bring a giant snake to life showcases the industry's willingness to push the grounds and the boundaries, even if the result occasionally feels more like a jungle-themed roller coaster ride than a serious thriller. So on this journey through the film, it's occasionally befuddling effects of Anaconda that really make it a mixed bag. For every moment of visual spectacle, the scenery, the lush jungles, there's a corresponding instance where the limitations of the technology betray the true aspirations of the film. But Anaconda serves as a snapshot of a particular era where filmmakers dared to wrestle with the unknown and take audiences on a wild, if not always smooth ride. So as we start winding down our journey through Anaconda, it's clear that the film falls short in weaving together its themes and its story, attempting to blend adventure, horror, and drama. Anaconda struggles to find a cohesive narrative thread. It's a film that teeters on the edge of multiple genres, but never quite commits, leaving audiences with a very uneven experience. So where does that leave us? Well, Anaconda, with its ambitious premise and its performances, including John Voight's laughably memorable turn, earns a rating of 3.5 out of 10 from us here at Real Real Talk. It's a creature feature that had the potential for greatness, but got entangled in the vines of its own making. Thank you so much for joining me on this jungle expedition. If you survived Anaconda, consider subscribing for more Real Real Talk. 
And as always, you can find us on Twitter at Real Real Talk Pod, Instagram at Real Real Talk, and you can email us at TheRealRealTalk at gmail.com. And until next time, keep watching, keep loving, and keep those reels rolling.